in order to truly know and live the freedom of true nature, the freedom of beingness, the identification <clears throat> with the body, I am this body, I am this mass of sensations with a boundary between me <clears throat> and everything else. I start here and I stop here. That identification must be seen through, must be dispelled, dissolved. But that does not mean denying the body as a valid experience. It does not mean being disembodied. It does not mean denying or turning away from the intelligence that is available, that is manifest through the body. You are both beingness, <laughs> you are both beingness that is infinite, the eternal beingness, the infinite without boundary, the unbounded. You are that, and that's what the whole spiritual search, the whole spiritual inquiry is about, that discovery. that recognition in order to free ourselves from the many layers of imprisonment that, uh, that come about because of erroneous identity. I am this, I am that. I am this body and therefore I begin and end here or I begin when I am born and I end when, I'm, when I die, this creates all sorts of problems, if you like, all sorts of fears and entrapments and attachments and aversions. So to know the, 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 the truth that is fundamental to freedom, it is fundamental to truth, and it is fundamental to a deeper intelligence than the knowing of that, that, that comes from ego self, limited self. But you are also, as well as that infinite, unbounded, you are also experiencing a localized self called the body <laughs> and a mind. The body-mind come together. It's one, one physiological organism. Yeah, the whole structure. Yeah, so to be identified only with the localized experience is the prison that we seek to be free of. Mm -hmm. To be disembodied and be identified only with the infinite creates denial and another more subtle kind of separation. Mm 